everyone this is riya singh uh, the senior research analyst for currency uh, at nirmal bank so let's look at the uh, forex market uh, what has happened uh, now if you look at the euro uh, it has uh, uh, appreciated against the greenback and pound at around 6% in the uh, past few weeks uh, especially after the ecb came out with its rate hike so last week ecb uh, raised uh, the interest rate by 75 bips taking the uh, policy rate to 0.75% from zero um, they further added that the inflation will remain elevated for a prolonged period of time and uh, they'll do anything uh, to control the inflation and more rate hikes could be expected uh, in the following day they have also added that they'll also be uh, in discussion and debate and will uh, debate on how to taper the liquidity that they have influxed into the eurozone during the pandemic uh, time so this has led to uh, quite a reversal into the euro against the dollar as well as uh, against the other uh, currencies and same is reflected into our uh, domestic pair as well um, now, uh, the there is a very important data that is scheduled for today, which is US inflation rate. Uh, we are anticipating that it will cool off again for the uh, month of August, uh, taking into consideration the past few, uh, uh, past two uh, data. Uh, I, we think that the inflation would, uh, could have peaked and it could come around 8%. So if the inflation's, uh, inflation numbers indicate uh, the cooling of phase and confers, confirms the same, uh, the, there will be the anticipation that Fed could go softer on its rate hike. So not 25 bips because it is still, it will be still quite above the uh, benchmark of uh, 2%. So rather than 25 bips, but 50 bips is somewhat that we are eyeing the uh, Fed to go forward with the rate hikes. Uh, now. Uh, so uh, this would result uh, uh, because uh, the inflation will come down there uh, fed will not be taking as aggressive stand as uh, before uh, euro usd can again uh, get a boost from the uh, from the current fed uh, meet because they'll be quite aggressive onto their policy meet uh, so dollar index could cool off uh, from the highs that we are seeing and it could uh, test the level of 10706 uh, in the uh, coming weeks. Uh, for the uh, Indian uh, rupee, uh, we have seen uh, that uh, the inflation print for the Indian economy has come slightly on the higher side. So it has uh, tested seven. It has come at seven percent from the six point seven percent that we have seen uh, in July. The major factor driving the inflation numbers was the uh, hike in the prices of cereals because there is sharp decline into the reserve of wheat and rice. Uh, also, the GST that was uh, levied by the government on the unpackaged food has also boosted the inflation number, uh, the inf food inflation numbers. Uh, they have come uh, above the seven percent, which was uh, six point seven percent in July. So, I think uh, the uh, the accelerated numbers that has come on the inflation part uh, will trigger the RBI to again go for a strong uh, for a hawkish uh, uh, rate hike, and they could go forward with. Uh, 35 to 45 bips rate hike onto their uh, September uh, policy review meet. Uh, also, if you look at the Forex Reserve, now RBI has been very prudent and active in controlling the uh, depreciation of the Indian rupee. Um, they have, uh, the Forex Reserve have uh, declined around $21 billion uh, between uh, the time of uh, July to September 2 according to the data that was uh, released uh, by the RBI. So quite extensively, they have uh, interfered into the spot as well as into the future market to control the uh, aggressive depreciation of the Indian rupee. Now, uh, if you look at the RBI statements, they have time and time again uh, said that they are not defending any particular level. But if you look at the momentum into the Indian rupee itself, uh, we have seen uh, uh, quite an extensive participation by the central bank at the level of 80. So I think uh, they are aggressively defending the level of 80 and they don't want uh, the Indian rupee to depreciate beyond that. Uh, the depleting forex reserve is kind of posing a risk also because if you look at uh, the FII inflows, they have not been as robust uh, in the month of September as we have seen them into the uh, month of uh, July. 
the other risk that we could see towards FII inflows is the uh, interest rate uh, differentials that is happening with the uh, developed economy and the developing economy. Now uh, we are aggressive with our rate hikes but the Fed is also aggressive with its rate hike. They are uh, pla uh, uh, there is an uh, there is overall market sentiment that they could push the interest rate towards six percent. So obviously uh, a safer ha haven providing a six percent is quite uh, 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 quite safer investment than the developing economies uh, posing the interest rates. So I think this could hamper the FII inflows towards the Indian economy as well. So uh, going forward, I think uh, with as the kind of efforts that we are seeing onto the uh, part of central bank with their uh, uh, time and time intervention, uh, we could see uh, Indian rupee uh, within 80.15 to 79 levels, 77, uh, 78, 75 levels. So this is uh, the wide range that you can follow. Uh, for a shorter period of time, I think it will test 79, 78, 75 as well. So uh, that's uh, the whole outlook on the currency for now. Thank you for watching.